Chapter 8, The Woodland Snare. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. Looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts. But you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. All right, ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. Wow, it's really gotten dark. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry, I don't know how much I can run like this. That's alright. You set the pace and I'll follow. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. Moving out! Now! Hmm. 
Hey, Welkin, what's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent, the same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. Okay? Ready to go. Ah, gotta love nature. leaves. Great! This is Ponicera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponicera growing nearby. Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. Okay? Ready to go.
go. Enemy sighted. <laughs> Gotta love nature. Here we go. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. Okay, this is probably a safe distance. I wonder if Alicia's almost here. Where are you, Alicia? Maybe I should go back. Okay, this is probably a safe distance. I wonder if Alicia's almost here. Okay? We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. Who 
build a cottage way out here. Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welcome. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him, that question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Yeah.